A multimeter has many functions, making it one of the most versatile tools available for the do-it-yourselfer. It can be used to check voltage in either 120 volt AC or 12 volt DC circuits. The ability to read the exact voltage allows the owner to check battery condition, battery charging effectiveness, and voltage available to appliances and fixtures regardless of the power source. Multimeters come in a wide variety of types, ranging from this simple light tester up to this complicated and very expensive version that's designed for the professional. For our testing, an analog tester or this simple digital version will do everything we need. To check AC voltage, connect the probes to the multimeter as instructed by the manufacturer. Set the range selector to the position that includes 120 volt AC. Under normal operation, the current supplied by the hot wire returns through the neutral wire. This is the typical wiring code for a 120 volt AC receptacle. Hook the RV electrical cord to campground power, start the generator, or activate the inverter, depending on the source you wish to test. Insert the red probe into the larger wall socket slot and the black probe into the other. Read the voltage. Voltage range should be between 110 and 127 with no load on the system. Voltage will rarely exceed 120 in the campgrounds, but AC generators may produce upwards of 130 volts. If voltage drops below 100 volts AC, motor-driven appliances will be damaged and 12 volt DC converters may cease to function. The ability to check for resistance to current flow is important in diagnosing electrical problems. If the flow of current is impeded by broken, corroded, shorted, or poorly soldered or connected wires, resistance occurs. To check resistance, set the selector switch to the appropriate position to check continuity. Touch the probes together. The ohm scale or digital screen should read zero, and some multimeters, like this one, will provide a tone. Touch one probe to one end of a wire and the second probe to the other end. The meter should read zero. If not, resistance may be caused by wire damage, corrosion, or poor connections.